to start. So today we're gonna to be showing you how to do an injection molded silicone distal end pad for a BK prosthesis. So we start with a socket, shooting for a you know two, three ply fit. And we have space built up at the bottom for where the silicone is gonna be um, injected and cured. And we've put in a port in the back where we're gonna inject it. So the setup's pretty simple. We have our limb with a liner or gel sock, whatever, whatever interface they're using. And then we have whatever sock ply we are over that. For today, this, this patient has a two ply fit. And what we're gonna do is to protect the sock and the liner from the silicone, we're just gonna use a standard trash bag. Try to make sure there's no wrinkles in it. At the base, and then we're gonna take a nylon and we're gonna run the seam at the base in a horizontal or vertical position so that uh, if the silicone pad ever comes out of the socket, you uh, know the orientation of the silicone pad. So in this case, we're gonna run it side to side. The nylon also acts as a, as a wick so that as the uh, silicone is injecting into the base of the socket, air can es escape out the top so you don't end up with any air. Once we have this ready, we're gonna go ahead and put the socket on. And then we're gonna ask the patient to stand up. Allow them to fully seat down into the socket. And as you can see, we have this, the space at the bottom for the thickness of the gel we want to be in there. This should be about you know, quarter inch, three eighths inch of, of, of gel, maybe even up to a half inch is fine. The more silicone you get in there, the heavier it's gonna be. Then we take our silicone, we apply it to the port, and we start injecting. Watch for the silicone to fill in the space. And we're gonna inject just enough that the limb starts to push up out of the socket. And once we see that, we'll, we'll stop. It looks good. We're good, okay. So what we're gonna do is then we're gonna let this bleed a little bit. Get the air bubbles out, let the limbs settle, and then we're gonna plug the hole and just hold until it cures. It takes about, uh, about six, seven minutes to cure. Then once we've, it's cured, we'll take the silicone pad out, we'll trim off the real thin area, and we'll have our custom molded injected silicone pad. 